Hi friends, we just came back to our hotel after um, um, this morning we wake up early early in the morning because we came from our cruise and we, we we came back to Athens and and so we we took a tour in the morning from uh, a tour of Corinth. Um, we spent the whole morning uh, walking in the ruins of the city of Corinth and it was a very emotional and moving um, moment. This morning we came to visit Corinth and here is the ancient ruins of Corinth. And this is the place where Paul preached to the Corinthians. We pray for our family of four parishes and of course the family of eight soon to be um, a group of parishes. Um, we got the opportunity to celebrate mass right in the middle of the of the city of Corinth, uh, the old city of course, or so in the place that Paul probably stepped. Um, just to kind of give you um, a sort of geographical setting, so Paul was, according to the Acts of the Apostles, was here in Corinth after in, during his second uh, missionary journey, after he spoke in Greece and his mission was not that successful, he came down to, to Corinth and, and, um, and met Aquila and Priscilla and started to build a community here and he spent a year and a half uh, preaching here. Then from here he went back to Jerusalem and, and actually um, uh, he made a quick stop in, in Rhodes and that's when we were couple of days ago but and he went back to, to um, 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 Antioch actually and, 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 uh, uh, and then he did a third missionary trip and then from Ephesus he wrote the letters to the Corinthians. This is the road that leads to the core of Kenkra right? when Paul uh, left the city to go back to Jerusalem after his second, his second trip, uh, his second missionary journey. So it's a pretty amazing. This is you see? this is the steps that he would have stepped and walk and go to the port. What is, is, is wonderful of this city is that uh, today we it was very fitting for us because we celebrated mass. It was the, the reading of the Acts of the Apostles talk about the conversion of Paul, and and we uh, what we did. Of course, I, I say a few words as you may know, but for the mass we let Paul. Um, preach and so I, what I did I selected several passages of of, uh, of the first letter to the Corinthians and the second letter of the Corinthians and Steve uh, read them and, and shared them with 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 the others and, and we listened to the very same words of Paul speaking about unity speaking about the Eucharist speaking about generosity speaking about love speaking about courage and moments of trial so it, it was just a beautiful homily by Paul to all of us here in Corinth um, and it was a very moving and emotional uh, moment to be able to celebrate the Eucharist uh, there. So um, we are concluding almost our pilgrimage so tomorrow is the day that we spend in Athens and of course I would be very um, yeah, uh, uh, walking the, in the, in the uh, parting on and all this uh, very traditional uh, and historic buildings, but for us, uh, Corinth, I think it was the, the highlight of, to me, the highlight of this, this, this trip and being able to be in the same city and walk all those ruins, even though everything is kind of down. Uh, we know that Paul somehow stepped and walked on there because he spent 18, 18 months there. This is, the, this is the city of Corinth where Paul Bridge. So we are under the temple of Apollo. Imagine when Paul was here, this was a huge thing. Here is our pilgrims. So um, I hope you enjoyed the few videos that we have there and, and, and get the opportunity to connect and pray. My recommendation will be if you have some time, read 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians, and that would be a, a, a wonderful uh, thing to pray with Paul. But uh, you may find a very, very wonderful teaching so Paul there. So uh, thank you for following us. Thank you for, for, for being also part of this pilgrimage from far. And uh, please keep us in your prayers and we, as we continue to 
pray for all of you.